Hi guys, Linda Antwi with the Red Carpet Report here in Hollywood at the Directors Guild for the IDA Awards. We're going to talk to a bunch of documentary filmmakers and I mean these movies are must see. I mean they're up for awards so come on let's go check them out. Yes, the documentary is based on a book written by Juan Gonzalez, who is a well-known journalist with Democracy Now! and also the Daily News in New York. It's about the Latino experience in this country. Juan does a fantastic job in creating a correlation with U.S. foreign policy in Latin America and the current immigration crisis that we're experiencing. So we're hoping that with our documentary, we will be able to educate and empower people to help us mobilize the community to help us support immigration reform. And what do you think of the immigration reform that Obama has placed? Well, we're very excited about it. And obviously, we're keeping our fingers crossed. We're keeping that it will be passed, that there will not be opposition. But obviously, that's a dream. We know that there's going to be opposition. So it's our job to work together. And that's what we're planning to release the film again next year, right around the beginning of March, middle of March, because we know that with this film we will be able to mobilize the communities to help us through the passage of immigration reform. That's wonderful. Now, what do you think is one of the hardest challenges for people that immigrate to this country? I, you know, I think Wendy should speak to that, having, uh, having, <laughs> having lived through that experience in a way that I, uh, I certainly haven't. Well, I think the major challenge is you come to a new world, new culture, new life, new everything. And I think that, that you know, there is also the misperception that sometimes when we come here, we come to take something, uh, something from someone. And that's not the, percep that's not the, re the reality. We come, we come here to work hard and we come here to give a better life to our families. And I think that those contributions sometimes are overlooked. Absolutely, I agree. As an immigrant myself, I'm from Canada. I think that it's interesting how different immigrants have different experiences here. Um, do you want to speak a little bit about that? Yes, I think the, the experiences range based on the country you come from, based on the reality, based on your upbringing. I mean, for me, I had such a positive experience. I was undocumented for eight years. I worked for two families taking care of the children, and that really shaped my life. And that's one of the reasons why I'm making this, docu this documentary, to give a voice to the people whose voices cannot be heard. Your story sounds like it might be a, an interesting story as well. Thank you. Well, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's a common story. It's a story that a lot of people in this country have gone through and experienced. I mean, this is definitely the United States is a country that opens doors to people. That's why I think it's so important that we, when we talk about Latino immigrants and when we talk about immigrants, we talk about them as people, not as illegal aliens. Because I think when you begin that process, you're dehumanizing the, the immigrant uh, community. Yes, exactly. and how did you get involved with the project? Right, so uh, Wendy and Eduardo, her partner in this film, brought the, brought the film to, to me. I'm a documentary film director and I have a production company in Washington. And it's a film they've been working on. It's been a passion project for them for years. They'd had, it was a struggle, I think. And they brought it to us via uh, our very talented editor that we had. And for us as documentarians, it was a wonderful challenge. We had this great story, passionate executive producers, producers, co-director. Co and it was an important story, a story that really needed to be told. And again, you know, as documentary filmmakers, what we try and do, what, what drives us, is we like to take these stories, these unknown stories, and, and try and you know, restructure them such that lots of people can get access to a world that they wouldn't necessarily otherwise know a thing about. And that's sort of what, that was kind of our approach. The big challenge in it was there was so much material, so much good material, painful stories, individual stories. The way we tackled that was we, we personalized every single historic event that we portrayed in the film. And I think that was, a, that was a key element in a narrative to have people telling their personal stories, people like Wendy who went through this experience, and that kind of brings it all home. So you can see the history, you can understand the political and economic contingencies, but until you hear people's personal stories, you know, who lived it, you get a whole other feeling. And that's what docs do, you know, that's the way docs do that better than any kind of other news or media platform, as far as I know. A doc does that in an extraordinary way. I agree, I agree. Well, congratulations and have a wonderful evening. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more interviews, make sure that you like and subscribe. I mean, really, like this one.